Yeah, Shark Hanlon joins me now, of course, at Gorham Park this Saturday afternoon for a uh, catch up on Hewick's uh, preparation ahead of the Gold Cup next week. Firstly, Shark, how is he? Horse is brilliant. He um, was in the courage during the week there, Tuesday, Joey Rodham, and couldn't be happier with him. He's in great form. Um, I think he's fit as a fiddle, and um, couldn't be happier to uh, his preparation. Everything went 100%. The only problem we have is the rain. And. Um, this will bring him over, he's going to be declared, but if the ground ends up soft, he won't run. Um, like uh, Liverpool is only around the corner and we'll wait and see, but um, there's one thing about Cheltenham, you could, have a, you, could have, you could have a soft on Wednesday and again Friday you could have a good ground. So like we have the chance, we've got so close now, we have chance. we're disappointed because um, the, all the good weather is after being there and now um, it's just... It's coming at the wrong time for me. I think Willie's done a rain dance. That's what's wrong. <laughs> of course, there's no point in racing on that ground because, as we well know, he is a much better horse on, on nice ground, which he's won, obviously, uh, across the sand down and uh, the Galway Plate. And, of course, again, the American Grand National, the last time we saw him in action. And there's no point in bottoming him, is there? Is there no. if you're not happy with the ground? No. If the ground's too soft? If I'm not, we'll walk the track on Friday morning and if I'm not happy with the ground, he won't run because Liverpool is only four weeks away and he'll go for the national so and like the, we're going back to America then in May with him so there's no point in, in battling him for the sake of running him out so we just the ground is spinning but I'm very happy with the horse the horse couldn't be better Jody got up the other day and he says he's a lot better than he was last year so Jody uh, McGarvey Jody nice. McGarvey yeah and he said that he, he'd done nearly all his work on him last year and um, he said to me, he says he's a lot better than he was last year. So if he was, he'd have to be going over there with a great chance. But um, I think the ground is going to be dependent for a lot of the horses now. Horses that we're going to have to do chatting on previous nights in York's. And you're tipping up horses a week ago and they have no chance if the ground is soft, you know. I thought John Kiley's horses was very good in the bumper. I thought he was one of the Irish bankers going over. But I'd say he'd want better ground as well. So listen, if it suits some horses, it won't suit more. And... Oh, we'll have to go to make sure everything is all right. You're no better man, you'll be there before. I don't imagine you're going this evening or tomorrow. I'm uh, going Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. We always go on a Tuesday morning. But listen, we'll enjoy it anyway. But um, it's just, it's disappointing because um, to have a horse so well, to have everything right and just the rain to stop us. So hopefully, maybe it'll dry up, I don't know. But um, we're hoping it will. Good stuff, fingers crossed. And finally, Jordan Gainford is regular rider. I know Jody's ridden him a couple of pieces of work in school. Him. Jordan will be riding him, I'd imagine, if he Jordan, runs. Jordan will ride him. Uh, Gordon told me two months ago that I could have him for it, which was very good of him. And um, he's, he's delighted. He, Jody rode him in the way he worked there morning, 10 minutes after Jordan was on the phone to know how do we go on. So um, it, the excitement is there. And listen, he's a great horse. He's after doing everything for us. So it's been some story so far. It's been a great story and hopefully it's not over yet. It's not. Shark, thanks for the update and best of luck next week if Hewick runs and hopefully the rain stays away for you. Well done. Thanks, lad. Thanks.